Hey guys, Latecom here, and we are back with yet another episode of the Road to 100 Million Flux Farming series on the channel, this being episode 4. And in today's video, we are going to be back again on Monday during Reset Week. As you can see, it is going to be second stat reroll week, in which is not going to do us any good in terms of flux farming. But as of today, as you can see, we have got the Delve Day bonus, in which we are going to be trying our best to make the most use of. And we have got a couple of listings in the marketplace, and just to catch you guys up to speed, Basically, I've been farming a ton of ships even after the XP day has passed over the past day. And we have managed to amass around 50 million flux thanks to my really, really good RNG. I've been getting a ton of 7 pinata drops. And I did end up getting another Gilded Signatory box in which we are selling in the market as of right now. With a couple more Royal Signatory boxes in the market that we will sell eventually. Sitting at 51 million to start off today's episode. So let's just start this off by doing some challenge delves. And yes, I do not actually have a challenge delve in my inventory right now. So we're just going to go on ahead and buy like the cheapest listing that I can find in the market. It's going to be really painful, but we're not going to have any other choice. So let's just go on ahead and buy these three delve gateways and probably we will be able to craft some more later on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over into my club chat and I'm just going to type in Looking for members weekly delve depth 110 to 127 whisper for invite and we're gonna get a run going it relatively soon. Okay now that we've got our eight players let's go on ahead and start this delve. So basically the aim of this so-called weekly farm is to find the shadow shard farming depth for the week in which will be in the neon underground biomes. Okay, so as you can see right here, it is depth 117 for this specific week for us to actually be able to loop this Neon Underground Delve. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to straight up leave this Delve and not care about the Weekly Delve as of right now. So, what should we actually do to start this farm? Well, the first thing that you will need to start a Shadow Shard farm is, of course, the Crystal Gathering Potion. And as you can see, I've only got one meta meta, and that is going to obviously suck because we will honestly need a lot of meta meta to craft these crystal potions. And as far as I know, I don't think I've got any potions that I can actually use right now. Okay, so now that we're in the Geode Sanctuary, let's head on over into the Reliquary Revealer. And if you do have some of these mastery reliquaries that you can use, honestly, I will just go on ahead and use an Accelerite on all of these and get like 3 meta matters each. And if you were to use a Lodestar, honestly you do get 5 by the way, that's actually guaranteed. So now that we have got 7 meta matter in total, we can go on ahead and craft 3 of those crystal potions. So with all of that out of the way, let's go on ahead and place down a challenge delve gateway as you can see right here. Boom! It's going to open up at a depth of 117. It's pretty much the depth that we left it on. So I'm just going to have to head on over and find a couple of players to join this Shadow Shard farm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over into club chat and I'm going to type in looking for members, which stands for LFM. Shadow Shard farm, or actually I will type in speed farm just to, you know, make it look a little bit different from the usual farms. And we're just going to type 1 slash 8 whisper me to join okay now that we've gotten our eight players let's head on over into the neon underground delve as we will start our shadow shot farm so as you can see this is how shadow shot farms work if you have got a high level enough backomatic all players are going to do is they're going to be manually revealing all of these shadow shots inside these black folders that you find in the neon underground delve and with a backomatic you can pretty much just suck in all of them as you progress without needing to manually clear them each and every single time. So the best thing to do in order to speed up your flux farming is to get a high level Vacomatic and I would recommend at least level 8 to level 10 because if I remember correctly at around level 7 to 8, you do get a buff that allows you to gain more Shadow Shards when you use your Vacuum. So with that being said, we're just going to continue on farming and I will get back to you guys in a couple of hours and we'll see how much flux we have made. And before that, let's just do slash play just to keep count of how much time we have actually spent. So with that being said, let's start the farm. 
Okay, so it's been around three and so hours of farming and as you can see, I did end up selling quite a number of the Shadow Shards that we farmed as well as gotten another two stacks. So let's just go on ahead and list this at 105 flux as I did earlier and let's hope that it does end up selling as quickly as the ones did earlier. We are going to be sitting at around 57.8 million flux. And what we're going to do now is, as you can see, we have got a ton of crystals. So let's just try our best to spend these crystals and convert them into flux. We have got a couple of different choices. Now, the first one is going to be the costumes, but they're going to cost like some ancient gears, some wallflowers and whatnot. So this might be a little bit too expensive. Now, the next thing that we could craft is like these Jodian framework vaults. They're going to be around 100k, so that's probably going to be too much. So I'm just going to go on ahead and craft the good old Jodian building notes, which are things that I've been crafting for the longest of time, and they have actually proven to be really, really profitable over a long period of time. Not to mention the fact that I guess the prices of stuff like Blazine is going to be relatively cheap these days. They used to be around like 150 flux or more, so let's just go on ahead and spend some flux and try our best to get as much of these Jodian building notes as we can as we will sell them in the market for a decent price. So we're going to end up crafting around 500 Jodian building notes and as you can see we still have got 140,000 crystals and we did spend only around I guess 400,000 flux. Yeah, we spent around 400,000 flux to get these 508 Jodian building notes. So I guess I'm going to list them like 50 at a time. And as you can see right there, there are going to be quite a number of listings right here. But since I do want them sold relatively quickly, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for 1100 or rather 10999. And let's just hope they do sell through time. Okay, now with all of the listings done, hopefully we will be able to sell all of them. And if we do, I think we will manage to have around 63 million flux. And let's just, I guess, craft a little more later on if they end up selling. And I guess that will be it for now. I'm going to head on over to bid and we will check back in game tomorrow morning. Okay, now that it's the next morning, I have not logged on in around 10 hours and taking a look in the market. Wow, we managed to actually sell every single thing in the market right here. Okay, now that we've collected all of these listings, we're sitting at 63 million flux. And I guess that brings the total flux that we found in those three hours to a whopping 9 million flux. And probably a little bit more than 9 million flux. But not to mention, we did spend quite a bit on the materials in order to craft those building notes. So I guess I would say 9 million is a decent amount for the amount that we farmed over the last 3 hours yesterday before I slept. So with that being said, let's make full use of the Shadow Shard farm as we will try our best to farm as much flux as we can today and hopefully finish off the series by the next episode. So I will be right back. Okay, so there we have it. This will mark the end of Delve Day, as you can see, 15 minutes until Gathering Day. And we've managed to sell quite a number of items, as you can see right here. We have got a lot of Shadow Shards sold. I did farm around 4 to 5 plus hours of Shadow Shard farming after I woke up. So we do end up having another 33,000 here, as well as a ton of Shadow Shard here. And I did manage to sell quite a number of Jodian building notes as well as have a lot more just waiting in my inventory as well. So with that being said, I think we might be able to hit close to 80 million flux as we conclude this episode of the series, which sits at around 23 million shy from our intended goal before we can conclude this series. So until then, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode as I will try my best to farm the last remaining 20 million flux to reach our goal. And I guess that will be all from me. I'll see you guys sometime soon. As usual, peace out.